It's now time for Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, dedicated professionals committed to helping each horse reach its full athletic potential. So last week, Laura from Reno wanted to know about heart disease in horses, and we talked about arrhythmias. This week, we're going to talk about structural problems in the heart and murmurs. So the second type of heart problems that we see in horses are actual structural problems or damage to the heart. And this occurs in one of two ways. The horse is either born with a problem, like there's certain types of conditions where they have a hole in their heart, or they acquire a problem, have damage to a valve, and, and the valve starts to leak. And this can be determined using a ultrasound with color Doppler. And with that technology, we can look at blood flow in the heart and see where murmurs are coming from. It's something we commonly do with pre-purchase exams where we hear a murmur or turbulence in the heart. We can then immediately look at that horse's heart with an ultrasound and determine whether that murmur is significant or not and where the leakage is occurring. So looking at congenital problems or, or problems the horse is born with, um, the most common would be a VSD or a septal defect in the, in the ventricle, essentially a hole in the heart. And using the ultrasound, we can look at the pressure and the speed of the, the leakage, the size of the hole, and determine how big of an impact that will have on the horse's athletic potential. Small holes, horses can, can run fine, work fine, and have a long, productive athletic career. And then finally, horses do go into heart failure for certain diseases, certain toxins. Um, and using an ultrasound, we can evaluate the progression of the disease or hopefully the improvement of the disease. Ask the Vet, brought to you by Brasses Valley Equine Hospital, now with three convenient locations in Texas, Navasota, Rockdale, and Stephenville.